What's up YouTube? Today I will be going through the parts list and unboxing of my Loki S1 build. So doing this build in the middle of lockdown meant a bit of additional research to try and get the cheapest parts available. Uh, with most parts being sold out. So as I'll go through each part, I'll make sure to give some details as to where I got the parts from and how much I paid for them. Starting off with the graphics card, I got an EVGA GeForce RTX 27 Super. Um, it was pretty much the cheapest RTX 27 Super I could find at the case at 539 typically retail for the time. So paid about 10% premium for this one. Currently the cheapest one I can find on Amazon is about $8.99, so I would suggest getting a different card. There's a few non-blower style cards on Amazon for around the $500 mark, so I'd suggest looking at those. Just make sure they fit in your case, particularly if you're building in a similar case to mine. Next is the AMD Ryzen 5 3700. Got this for 167 off Amazon. They're about 189 now, which is close to retail. So I wasn't, I would not hesitate on purchasing one of, one of these now. Next is the Asus ROG Strix B450 ITX motherboard. Um, I got this for 239. Right now on Amazon, they are around 289. Um, but that's pretty much the cheapest you can get for an ITX case right now, for a decent ITX motherboard right now. So, unfortunately, a bit of a premium, but uh, definitely a good motherboard. So, if you're looking at this now, you probably will want to look at B550 chipset motherboards, which have recently released, although unlikely they'll be much cheaper or cheaper than any B450s that are currently available. But uh, it is a great motherboard. In terms of cooler, I went with the Noctua NH-L12S, which is pretty much the largest cooler that fits in the Loki Ghost S1. Um, should pair well with the Ryzen 5 and allow for a little bit of overclocking. I don't need much as I'm planning for this to be mainly a gaming PC. It will require a little bending, but I'll show you that in the build. Um, clearance I think is roughly four millimeters difference. In terms of PSU, went with the Corsair 450. Power supplies right now are in particular selling at a premium and very difficult to get. So I had to go to eBay uh, to purchase this one for $163, which was about $100 cheaper than what Amazon was selling them for. Uh, went for a Western Digital Blue NVMe SSD with 500 gigabytes, roughly $70, which was at retail, so I'm pretty happy with that. For RAM, went with the Crucial Ballistics 3600 MHz. Um, I will have to take the heat sinks off this, worth noting to fit into the case um, with the Noctua cooler. Uh, but again, we'll show you that in the build video. This is 32 gigabytes, two 16 gigabyte sti sticks, and cost about $139 again off Amazon. Um, and then the star of the show, the Loki Ghost S1. Now these are pretty much impossible to get. So I had to buy one of these secondhand off eBay. I'm um, actually bid for a few, but before I won one at the at a price I was willing to pay, which ended up being $397. It did come with a small top hat as a bonus, although I'm not planning to use it. Um, although you can find these for going between $400 to $600 on eBay. So keep, keep an eye out if you are looking at this case. They are hard to get, but they are very, very nice. And now to start unboxing all these parts.
Next time on Coffee Table Tech, we go through the build process of the Loki Ghost S1.